Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to write exponential equation of the form y equals a b raised to the power x given two points. And we're going to use logarithms in solving this problem here. Let's take this first example. Determine the exponential equation, again, of this form y equals a b raised to the power x of a graph that passes through points 340 and 9, 2560. There are some steps that we need to follow in order that we can solve this kind of problem. The first step is to set up the two equations using the two given points and isolate the A. So in this problem right here, we, I'm just going to label this as S1. So then we can go ahead and write these two points. Okay, now using these two points, we're supposed to write the equation. Again, the general equation is y equals ab to the x, so then I can go ahead and write this equation to both of them. Okay, now we remember that in this ordered pair, the first number that we have here is x and the other one is y. The same thing for the other one. So then we can go ahead and plug this x and y into this equation. So the y is 40, so I'm going to write 40 right here, and that is equal to the a and b are both missing, but we have an x which is 3. So then we can go ahead and Isolate the A, that's the purpose for this step. So in order that we can do that, we can divide both sides by B to the third power and divide this by B to the third power. So then we can cross out the B to the third and B to the third. So then we are left with our A is equal to 40 over B to the third. So this is the equation using the first um, ordered pair. Now, or using the first point. Now let's move on to the uh, other equation using the second point. So I'm just going to plug these values into the um, equation. Okay, so we got the second equation using the second point. Now, what are we going to do next is we move on to the second step. So I'm just going to label this as S2 right here. The second step is to solve for B using the two equations here. So we're going to use these two equations to solve for B. Now, notice that both of these equations are equal to A. So we can use the equal values method, which means that this 2560 over B to the ninth and 40 over B to the third are equal to each other since both of them are equal to A. So I can go ahead and write that up here. Okay, since we want to solve for B, what we can do here is we can cross multiply these two. So these two are going to get cross multiplied and these two as well. So that we can go ahead and rewrite this as... Okay, now I, I paired them up. So 40 and B to the ninth are paired up, multiplied together. And then the 2560 multiplied by B to the third. Again, we want to solve for B in this step. So then we can go ahead and divide both sides by B to the third. So I divide this by B to the third. This is divided by B to the third. So I can cross these two out. So then we are left with, now remember that there are three at the bottom and there are nine Bs on top. So we can go ahead and get all these three Bs and then I'll take three from the nine. So we're left with six. So then the equation would come out. That's going to be 40 b to the sixth is equal to, that's 2,560. Now again, we want to solve for b, so then I can go ahead and isolate b on one side by dividing both sides by 40. So I'm going to divide this by 40 so we can have b left on the uh, left side. So we're left with b to the sixth is equal to, now if we divide 2,560 divided by 40 is 64. So then this will be our B, but the thing is, this is B to the sixth power. We, we're supposed to be solving for B. Now, in order that we can solve for B, we actually, again, it says that we're supposed to use logarithm in solving for B. So then we can go ahead and um, continue the work up here. So I'm just going to rewrite this equation up here. So b to the 6th is equal to 64. Since, again, we are supposed to be using logarithm to solve for b here, 
um, we are going, the first step that we're going to do is to log both sides. So I am going to log both sides. So if I log one side, I will log the other side as well. So then this would come out log of b to the sixth is equal to log of 64. Okay, so what are we going to do next is, since this is an exponent of 6 using the power property of logarithm, we can put the 6 in front of this whole log. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as 6. That's going to be log of b. So the 6 was already placed in front of the uh, log. That's the power, uh, power property. Then that is equal to the log of 64. Now, again, we want to solve for b, so we can go ahead and divide both sides by 6. So I will divide this by 6. I'm going to divide this by 6, so we can cross the 6 out. So then we are left with... Okay, so that's the leftover. The log of b is equal to log of 64 to the base 6. Now, please remember that if there is no base in a log expression, that is an invisible 10. So there is number 10 there every time. So 10 is invisible there. So if you don't see any base in there, that uh, there's actually invisible 10 in there. That's the rule for log. Now, we are going to change this into it exponential form. Now remember that if we have a logarithmic form, we can change it to exponential form by setting up the letters in correct spots. So if we have log of m to the base b is equal to k, if you want to change this to exponential, that's actually b raised to the power k is equal to m. So that's how we uh, set this up here. So in here, if we want to change this into exponential form, so this would actually become 10 is our b, so I'm going to write the 10, so that would be 10 raised to the power, the k is this whole thing, so then I can go ahead and raise this up to log of 64 over 6, and then that is equal to b. So then we already have the b isolated by itself, that's the one that we wanted for this second step. We want to solve for b. So then there are ways in how we can simplify this. The first method is using decimals. I'm going to show the uh, methods on the side. You will see what are the ones that we need to press. So the first thing we're going to press would be 10. And then we go to the exponent. Once we hit the exponent, we hit the parentheses. And then we go to function. And then once we are on function, we choose the log. And then log, then type in the 64 and then close the parentheses, hit divide, and then hit 6, and then the answer here is 2. So our b here is 2. So this is our value for b. Now, the other way that we can solve for b here is using the calculator. So I can set this up here. I'm going to show you how to set up the calculator in order that we can get for b here. So we're looking at this expression. So first that we type in would be, 10 and then arrow up means its exponent and then open parentheses then we put in the log 64 so that's gonna be log 64 close parentheses and then that's divided by 6 and close the parentheses so this would come out 2 and that is equal to 2. Now the other way to do it is using the um, TI-84. So we have here this um, calculator. So it's pretty much the same thing. We type, again, we are supposed to type this expression into the calculator. So to see if we got a two. So then first we're going to press 10. So uh, we hit 10 and then we go arrow up and then close parentheses. That's gonna be log of 64 close parentheses, divided by 6, close parentheses, and hit equal. So this whole thing is actually an exponent. So she can see that that's the exponent of 10. So then if we hit equals here, that should come out to 2. So our answer is 2 in all of the... Um, in all of those three methods. So using decimals and using um, two calculators. Now we are ready to move on to the 
Third step. The third step is to solve for A using any of the equations from step one. So we're gonna use any of these, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna show the work up here. So this would be for step three. So I'll label that here, step three. So it's uh, faster to use this one since the exponent is not a lot. It's only to the third power. So that would be A is equal to 40 divided by b to the third and then we put in the b which is two so then i go ahead and re, uh, do the work here okay so others are going to ask how did you get eight so two to the third power means two times two times two so you're going to multiply two three times so that would come out eight so two times two is four four times two is eight so then if we divide this this would come out a is equal to five so this is our value for a so pretty much these are the values that we need in order that we can um, set up the equation the value of a and the value of b and so we're ready to move on to the fourth step the fourth step is to set up the equation so i'm just going to label this as s4 so then we're going to write this up here so y is equal to our a is 5 and then our b is 2 and then that's raised to the power x and this is the equation that works for this problem what does it mean if we sketch the graph of this equation this the graph will pass through 349, 2560. On the side, you will see the decimals version of this graph. As you can see, this graph, y equals 5 times 2 raised to the power x, passes through 340 and 9, 2560. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!